and welcome to Alpha 18. Well, almost. I've heard that it's going to be potentially out within a week, maybe two. So it looks like possibly first two weeks of September if we we're lucky. Either way, here's going to be Wasteland Treasures from Mad Mole. And I'm going to give my commentary what I think about it. And just from the name, I'm assuming it's got thing, something to do with being in the wasteland. Maybe we get better stuff there. Maybe less encumbered. Maybe mines do less damage. Hmm. What do you think is going to be there? Maybe you feel less hot. Maybe less radiated. I guess that could be a thing if they started to put in radiation in the wasteland. But anyway, let's uh, go ahead and listen to Mad Mole. Hey everyone, it's Joel from the Fun Pimps. And today we're going to talk about the new book, Wasteland Treasures. So the first volume here is about honey. Basically, uh, honey is an awesome antibiotic and it helps uh, cure the early stages of infection. Um, or it helps towards any uh, stage of infection, actually, with the new system. Um, you get infected and honey is like going to remove a certain amount of infection so you can stack uh, uh, honey with um, herbal antibiotics to cure. Hey everyone, it's Joel from the Fun Pimps and today we're going to talk about the new book Wasteland Treasures. So the first volume here is about honey. Basically uh, honey is an awesome antibiotic and it helps uh, cure the early stages of infection um, or it helps towards any uh, stage of infection actually with the new system. Um, you get infected and honey is like going to remove a certain amount of infection so you can stack uh, honey with um, herbal antibiotics to cure a more nasty um, infection. Actually you could stack all three of them to get rid of it really fast. If you're super infected you could stack antibiotics, honey, and uh, herbal antibiotics together. So anyway, um, you read this book. Interesting. I, I don't really see this one as uh, being a wasteland treasure. I mean, this is going to be harvesting trees, which I don't think there's a lot of nice trees in the wasteland anymore. But anyway, let that aside, uh, I think it's interesting. You're going to find more honey when you get uh, trees. In Alpha 17, infection was really not an issue. I don't think I was I ever infected to it. I ever really use antibiotic. I mean, it's, it's like extremely rare. So maybe they're bringing that back. Previous version, it was a little bit more difficult. Uh, you had to at least get some antibiotics um, when you got infected from the attacks of the zombies. That didn't really seem to be happening in Alpha 17. So I hope they really bring that back and bring it because that should be, I mean, it's a zombie apocalypse. What's the main thing in zombie apocalypse that you see in in movies or games yes the zombies killing you eating you up but one of the scary parts is really you get scratched you get bitten and you pick up their infection and you're gonna turn into a zombie and it's going to unlock the ability to go chop trees down and it gives you a rare chance to um, every swing to get a jar of honey now that might sound OP but it's it's really really low chance but you know if you go chop you know and get a few thousand wood you're probably going to end up with, uh, you know, one, two jars of honey, something like that. It's not, it's not crazy, but it, you know, and we'll be balancing things too. But uh, so far, it seems pretty good. And if you also notice, uh, when you read a book, there's this little red open book icon means you've read it. So as I read these, they'll change into that. So at a glance, you'll say, hey, I've already read that. I don't need it or whatever. So that's a nice feature. I wish that maybe it would change color maybe um i don't know make it make it yellow make it green or something so you really can tell because it's all white and it looks fairly similar it's in the same sizing same position yes this is open this is closed but that's not a lot of indication and just color coding a little bit might help at least you know apologies to people who might be colorblind but in the general sense just doing a slightly different view not just an icon that looks similar uh, volume two coffins coffins are treasure troves of the apocalypse learn how to Harvest coffins for bones, jewelry, and precious gems. So this one's awesome. You find a coffin and hack it up, and you might get diamonds, gold, and, you know, whatever. There's there's good stuff that you'd normally not get. It, it's like, imagine, you know, it's stuck between the cushion or whatever. fell off the rotten corpse and whatever. You're digging through it. You're tearing it down, and you're 
getting resources. So. <laughs> Both shield and pressure gems. Uh, it's all. I, I guess it's okay. It sort of implies that if you find a coffin normally, you get nothing. But if you find a coffin with this one, all of a sudden you're going to get bonus jewelry and precious gems. And looking at some of the other perks, which is really, oh, you find 5% more gems or you find 5% more of money or dukes. Maybe this should be more of a extra chance to get it rather than an all or nothing kind of thing. Maybe it is. I, we have to see. But, you know, it's nice that they're putting in some of these things. It just does change your gameplay just a little bit. So it's cool stuff. Um... Number three is Acid. Acid is an extremely rare and powerful crafting agent. I figured out this tip to sometimes harvest a little from cars and medical equipment. Well, that would be like a, a, a destroyed chem bench, basically. Um, adds a chance to harvest Acid uh, from cars and medical equipment. I think that one is pretty nice, actually. It means that you have a just larger chance of getting Acid. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things that acid can be a little bit difficult in Alpha 17 to, to find because there are some locations. I know they added extra. They did buff up how much was being found and, uh, you know, being able to buy it at traders. But it's still something is being used um, as you make tires, etc. And I think they were expanding the use of acids as well. And being able to just get a little bit of extra when you're harvesting cars and etc medical equipment would be nice and right now you don't you you get oil and everything from cars you don't get any acid you uh, so i think that's nice uh, i think that's good i like this one and the next one here water you always need water i figured out this hack to purify water now someone might think ah big deal or whatever but this is the actually the new um awesome pure mineral water so i should probably like improve the and if you look at these stats this this is like the new supreme water this is like total like 60 water in one gulp is a lot so you won't be after having and it's got it does basically it's made from goldenrod coal um red chrysanthemum plant um you know and murky water to craft this and it's the best water in the game it's going to hydrate you it's going to basically do everything those other ones do but do it better so pretty awesome stuff i, I like i'd like having that one i think that's interesting uh, putting in uh, just some extra things uh, normal water seemed to be you know instead of sort of me i mean you went to teas and everything because they were better getting some pure mineral water sounds good again locking it behind a book that you have to find out of 150 again that that's that's the challenge that i have with this kind of mechanic i think that most crafting should be accept, accessible through perks and not rng that's my general view and i like this one a lot uh, the doorknobs did you know that many doorknobs or parts like hinges are made of brass bullet casings are also made from brass learn how to harvest brass from doors and never run out of bullets again so this this one's awesome once you read this book, take your fire axe with you and just chop down those old doors that have the brass hardware on them and they'll drop a doorknob, which is awesome. So you can basically, you know, really helps you with the uh, limited brass that you might uh, experience in some games. And it's interesting. I, I like being able to find more brass because that can definitely be an issue and just tip the reason we have brass doorknobs is that I believe they're antibacterial by nature. The find itself so uh no this, this is nice again again are you going to find this a normal game but chances are you won't you'll still have the brass issue and so we're sort of back to some of these it's, it's a really good book if you can find it it's definitely going to help you you're going to get, have a lot more brass for uh, bullet crafting and wasteland treasures weaving this wasteland is full of things that make you bleed. A guy can never have enough bandages and cloth can be hard to find sometimes. So I figured out how to weave plant fibers into cloth. Now I have plenty of bandages and here's my secret. Interesting. So you have plant fibers into cloth to make bandages as opposed to using, I guess, cotton plant unless they're changing that as well. I, I, guess, it, I guess it doesn't hurt. I mean, sometimes we do have a issue with getting enough bandages or getting enough cloth so i think this this can help so this one lets you uh punch plant fibers grass or whatever and craft those into uh cloth you know which you know if you're in a pinch you need a bandage or something you can't find any tents to tear down it, it might come in handy and this last one is uh sinks so many zombies and so few bullets here's a trick i learned about harvesting more lead and brass from sinks and plumbing so once you read this book you can 
um, use a wrench on a sink and you'll get some scrap lead and some scrap brass so it's that's not uh, that's actually pretty good I, I still think that these things should not be all or nothing i would rather have same as the one getting doorknobs i would rather have that maybe normal chance of dropping a doorknob from hacking down a, a door would be you know one in ten and maybe having this perk it would go up to you know one in uh, one in four same thing if you're, you're you're scrapping or harvesting from a sink maybe you get you know x uh, bit of lead or brass uh, depending and then if you have the book you get even more of it because that seems to be how the other perks have really been operating having an all or nothing it's it, it's, it's a it's a really weird mechanic why don't i find a doorknob on the door unless i've read a I read a book about oh yeah there are actually doorknobs on doors i mean either it's there or it's not there wasteland treasures so the collection perk is uh military fiber so once you read all the all these books it unlocks this collection bonus and this uh all the best all the best military gear is made from this amazing strong and lightweight material learn to harvest it from barracks chairs and military trucks we might add some other things you can harvest it from too we'll just kind of have to wait and see how this plays out but uh basically it lets you um you know get one of the hardest to find materials in the game for crafting um the best light armor in the game and th th that's nice to be able to get military fire because that can be fairly tough in alpha 17 same criticism as in general you can see a number of them adding a chance to harvest great and you get the same thing with with these ones if you can't it's like you can't get it and then suddenly you can it's a little bit of a weird thing because it's 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 getting fairly more unique than some of the previous ones for instance the you know firemen's or the great heist which you know you get five percent to this you are sneak five percent better you know it's like these small things that are sort of maybe are too small but it, you know they're sort of like it, it's not all or nothing but now we're getting into again more all or nothing uh here all or nothing all or nothing uh all or nothing all or nothing, all or nothing, all or nothing, all or nothing. Oh no, this is more. Uh, and then all or nothing. It's sort of like all. a lot of these ones are really, if you don't have the book, you don't get this to do this at all. And the previous ones were a lot of, well, it improved a little bit, but it wasn't an all or nothing thing. And I think that's that's a problem because it's a balance issue because it makes them significantly different than these ones. This really makes, a, these ones can be game changing by, by themselves. Whereas these ones sort of like just add a small little bonus. But that's just what I what I feel. What do you think? Do you think it's, it's getting to be a good mix of things? Or does it feel confused that I think of what perks you have from leveling and what perks you have in crafting from reading books? Let me know below. And I'll catch you next time with, I guess, The Hunter's Journal. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.